Welcome back to Iris POS video tutorial for the Delivery Route Manager, part two of a three-part series. This tutorial will cover the functions of the created route and delivery confirmations. Starting with the icons, Iris allows for GPS navigation and is integrated with Garmin NuV devices. To receive the GPS plugin, simply click on the icon and this will take you directly to the Garmin site to download the communicator. This is only necessary one time per station. The default message icon is for delivery confirmations and allows you to set a default message that your client receives via email automatically. This happens with every confirmation provided there is an email on file and it is okay to email them. Using the delivery routes created in part one, let's take a look at the components of a created route. Here in the route manager, you will see the name of the route, the hand icon will show you the selected deliveries within the route. The X icon will delete the route and return deleted items to the delivery queue. The OFD checkbox stands for out for delivery and will change the status of the selected deliveries within the route. The confirmation checkmark will confirm all selected deliveries within the route. Unselected deliveries will be returned to the delivery queue. The total will reflect how many deliveries are within the route. The complete reflects how many are completed. Currently, this reads the same as the total. When the mobile portion of the POS comes live, this will report the completed deliveries within the route and is done in real time. Before we look at the components within a created route, let's discuss the delivery queue. Clicking on the order number will allow you to view an entire order in a pop-up window. And adding to a route is simple. All you need to do is click on the desired delivery and drag and drop it over the desired route. It will then remove itself from the queue and automatically populate in the route. Next we will look inside a created route. Using route B, I will show you that every order in the route contains the order number, the recipient name, address, phone number, status, time, note, and message. There are three levels of status available. Pending means the delivery is awaiting delivery and is the default status of every order. On delivery means it has been made and is currently in route. And the final status is confirmed, meaning the delivery has been made and delivered to its final destination. The note icon allows you to write a note for internal purposes and change the delivery date. Typically, this is used when it's undeliverable and needs to be rerouted on another date. This information can be seen in the order manager on the front end. The message icon will allow you to customize a delivery message that the sender receives. Any message typed here will override the default delivery message. To remove an order from your delivery route, simply click the X and the order will be returned to the delivery queue. Prior to the delivery driver leaving, they should change the status of the route to out for delivery. To change the deliveries from pending to out for delivery, simply place a check in the OFD box of the selected route and the status will change. This status can also be seen in the order manager on the front end. Now let's map a route. Within the route, select the entire route by clicking on the plus sign. This will place a check mark on every single delivery. The system is defaulted to Google Maps and is, allows for up to eight deliveries. For more than eight deliveries, use MapQuest by selecting the MQ engine. Next, if you just wanted the deliveries to be optimized, meaning the best, most efficient route, click on the Optimize selected. This will populate a delivery manifest in the order that they should be delivered from top to bottom. If you would also like turn by turn in directions with the manifest, Select with directions and then click optimize selected. When the delivery driver returns, it is time to confirm the deliveries. To confirm the deliveries, show the desired route. And for the sake of demonstration, we will say that three of the deliveries were successful and one was unsuccessful. Next, if the delivery was successful, input the time and place a check mark in the box. Continue until all the desired completed deliveries have been confirmed. If the delivery was unsuccessful, 
Iris gives you the option to write a note as to why and select a new delivery date. There should be no check mark for this line. When you select the confirm check, all the check marked deliveries and times will automatically be emailed with the default message or custom message. The unsuccessful deliveries will be removed and populated on the next chosen delivery date. To view this information in the front end, as I've stated before, use the order manager and view the recipient window.